The rules are suspended. The bill is passed. On March 13th, the House passed the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act, a bill that could ban TikTok in the U.S. if parent company ByteDance doesn't sell the app. Using these sources, we're going to fact check a few common questions about the bill. First, TikTok is not officially banned in the U.S. Despite confusion online about the vote, TikTok hasn't been banned yet. The Senate still needs to pass the bill and get the president's signature. The bill's prospects in the Senate are currently unclear, but even if it does become law, the proposal would likely be challenged in the courts by TikTok. Next up, the bill does not only apply to TikTok. According to the authors of the bill, any social media apps that are controlled by foreign adversaries of the U.S. that pose an unacceptable risk to U.S. national security could be banned. Foreign adversaries are defined in Title 10 of the U.S. Code and currently include Russia, Iran, North Korea, and China. The Electronic Frontier Foundation says Chinese instant messaging app WeChat could also be banned under this bill. And finally, this bill would not give the president power to ban any app deemed a national security threat. The bill only allows the president to ban apps that are used for social media, owned or controlled by a foreign adversary, deemed a threat to national security, and have more than 1 million active users. TikTok says it has never shared U.S. user data with Chinese authorities and won't do so if it is asked. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Till.